And when you feel ready, hold your scared cat pose. Stretch the arms, feeling a gentle stretch between the shoulder blades, relaxing the neck. And then from there, shift the hips back to the heels. Knees are wide, the big toes touch for extended child's pose, releasing the lower spine. First, try to kind of wiggle as close back as you can towards the heels. Stretch the arms forward. If the forehead touches the ground, rest there. If it doesn't, and if it's more comfortable, you can also rest. Make fists with your hands, rest the head on the hands. Breathing slow. Okay, and then back up to all fours. And now we're gonna make big circles in the air with your hips. So you're gonna let your elbows bend. This is like a snaky like movement just to warm up the joints. Okay, we're gonna add the breath on your own. You're gonna inhale when the body's forward. Exhale when the hips go back. Create a nice rhythm with your own breath. And then reverse direction, try other way. You inhale forward, exhale back. As big as circles as feels good on your joints. And then back to center. Okay, one more pose from all fours. It's called the sunbird pose, a diagonal balance. So you stretch the right leg back. You may want to hold with the toes on the ground for stretching the heel. Eventually, the leg is going to lift as high as the back, and then right leg is up, and then the left arm goes up, opposites, finding balance, breathing. Switch sides, left leg back, the toes can curl under, maybe perhaps a calf stretch for holding a breath or two. Eventually lift the leg as high as the back. Focus on one point, maybe at the edge of your mat will help with balance. So left leg is up and then right arm up, hold and breathe. Releasing, sit back on the heel, stretch the arms forward. This time, look at your hands, hands shoulder width apart. Spread the fingers wide, and then try to push the floor forward with your hands. Your hands stay down, but feel like you're pushing the floor forward so the hips can release back to the heels. 